Welcome, 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 good peeps of the Tinterwebs. How are you? Jester here. Beep, 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 beep. Um, yeah. So, we've had uh, a Channel 4 documentary last night. Ooh. Oh, I didn't do anything for anybody. Right. Unbelievable, really. Um, and, of course, Kathleen Stock speaking at the Oxford Union, where uh, one of the uh, ne'er-do-wells, uh, who has form, I believe, they, you know, um, fiddle with somebody's minge in the royal bedchamber, apparently. I've... Why is this person walking the streets, right? Okay, and is like, you know, rich beyond belief. Aren't they all? <laughs> Middle class wibble goat, that's what she is. Stupid person. So we've had that, Kathleen Stock, and then the Channel 4 documentary last night. People texted me going, what do you think? 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 Um, I think it was a waste of time. Now it's possible, he says, that it may have said to some people, there's something you need to look at here, something's going on. Um, but it, how it managed to do the whole trans things while avoiding AGPs, fetishists, cross-dressers, transvestites, and all the, you know, Uncle Tom Cobblers and all, how it managed to do that, I've absolutely no idea at all what it did. It sort of snuck it all past. There was a, there was a, a you know, trans men on there, women in other words, women on there. Nobody's bothered by them. <laughs> you know, they're not the ones that cause the problem, it's men. So, there's been lots of women online from people going, Oh, if I'd known it was by Kathleen's talk, if I'd known that the devil incarnate was going to be there, I'd have never agreed to do this documentary. So they're all fuming now, as if the documentary was something that condemned them. It didn't. The documentary, if anything, drew a very, very dull, conformist line to the narrative that, oh, actually, it's just a disagreement. So I thought it was a waste of time, but that's just me. I know other people didn't because I've been watching online. You didn't, did you? You thought it was okay. You thought it was worth the doobers, right? Okay, right. So before we go any further, become a warrior teacher in Canada, America, 1 a.m. in the morning, last few days before sign up. It begins. New startup for everybody else in July. Details to follow this week. Buy me a coffee. You know, usual, usual. So what I think come across <clears throat> today, which I thought was very interesting, was an article that appeared in the, um, in the Telegraph from Judith Woods called The Academic Who Has Sparked Culture War Like No Other When Kathleen Stock Came to Oxford. She makes it sound like a particularly good Hollywood movie, doesn't she? It's glorious here. Can you see the sun? <laughs> glorious. So, outside the rainbow flag waving protesters were chanting trans rights to human rights and resisting by existing, ramping up the music and screaming in unison. It's what they normally do, isn't it? Make lots of noise about nothing. <laughs> Was it what they were shouting the other day at Hyde Park? I love Lady Dick or something. I love Lady Dick. These people are obviously completely deranged. Oh, there's a politician that got a good kick in on talk TV today about this. About the whole, you know, penis thing. <laughs> Can women have a penis? Got a kick in. Julia Hartley Brewer gave it to him. And it was about five minutes of utter gloriousness. I think it's on Glinner's timeline. If you go and have a look on Glinner's timeline, you'll find it. It's just hysterical. I can... I was laughing like a drain when I saw this. Because <laughs> it was so bloody amusing, right? To continue. Inside the debate the, 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 the audience strained to listen over the fracas when the sudden chaos broke out. Most unused word, fracas. Two trans protesters stood up at different ends of the room. The trans bookcases. <laughs> trans bookends. Shouting and handing out leaflets, while a third, wearing a No More Dead Tran Kids t-shirt, silently took up the lotus position and glued her head to the floor. Sorry, her hands to the floor. I think she glued her head to the table. Now, if you've been paying attention today, Mole at the Door <laughs> has done some fantastic memes. <laughs> One of which has got her sat on the table by the table with gender adult grievance gerbil written on her t-shirt. <laughs> Uh, she had no more dead trans kids written on hers, sat in front of Kathleen. So she was sat in front of Kathleen in front of a table. So all we could see was her head, right? Okay. And there was Kathleen in one chair and then the person that was going to be talking to Kathleen in the other. And as some wag on Twitter put, which I thought was brilliant, it looked, <laughs> it looked to all intents and purposes like two people had just put their favourite kids video on for the 200th time. <laughs> that they were forced to sit and watch. Now, by all accounts, she's got form this one. She's a bit of a CSJ nut job, I hear. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. CSJ nut, but nut job. And apparently it runs in the family. I think her dad's also a CSJ nut job. So they're all, you know, 
just stop oil, stinky rebellion, stinky rebellion, extinction rebellion, and all that business, right? Okay, so they're all the same things, all the same people. Critical social justice. <laughs> oh, the world's coming to pieces. It's all power and oppression. So she's got form. There's a picture of her that goes with this, and she does look like a misery gut. So it has to be said. So. Catherine's in there, and she's there to talk about her hateful views in speech marks, you know? Catherine being hateful, oh my gosh, as if ever. There's also a fantastic picture, I'm on one today, there's also a fantastic picture of her walking with what looked like you know, men surrounding her to, for a bit of, you know, just in case these nutters kick off and get violent, which they tend to do, that looks like something straight out of Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> or Pulp Fiction, you know, or since it went all shit, MasterChef, where they walk carrying vegetables and it's all slow. Dun, 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 you know. But it's a great pick. It is a great, she looks so bloody cool. <laughs> so, her crime, Stock has had the temerity to say that trans women are not the same as biological women. Imagine that. They're not a woman of any kind. That's, there's more. She also stated that transgender women and transgender men deserve to live in dignity. And you'd have the full protection of the law. I'm not sure if you're lying to yourself about who you are and lying to everybody else. There's any dignity in that at all, but that's just me. They should have the full protection of the law, which they've got like everybody else. There isn't anything they haven't got that everybody else has. So what was common sense and complaints now qualifies as heresy in the new pick and mix gender orthodoxy that is gripping university campuses and social media like crazy. But there you go. Right, back in the room, a very different sort of madness reigned. Security guards stood up and attempted to negotiate with the activists, but to no avail. It's the, I can't, don't they have those things? What do you call them? You know, with electric, with electric charge. Can't they, and then they go stiff and fall on the floor and ride about for a bit. Why don't they just use that? Or what's the other thing? Pepper spray. I have that in the eyes. That in the thighs. Down you go. <laughs> one in the eyes and one in the thighs. And down they go. Right. <clears throat> Please don't do this. <laughs> Two police officers swept into the room, but one of the audience members, with cerebral palsy, a third-year history student, received a round of loud applause when he insisted he was there to listen and demanded the event continue. But the organisers declined. They shut the event down for a bit. Two police officers swept into the room, spoke to the protesters and swept out again, while another audience member announced, take this time to Google the Tavatop Clinic scandal. People are waking up. I don't think I'm overstepping the mark when I say the proverbial man on the Clapham omnibus will be utterly bewildered by all this. Equally, the Channel 4 documentary, which still seemed to posit that trans people are Haley Cropper rather than these weirdos getting erections, fumbling brassiers in Marks and Spencers, right? <coughs> they really need to make that trans thing clear. Hang on. This is, this isn't, whatever it is they want to be called. <coughs> so, not so the furious trans lobby hollering away in the street outside the Oxford Union remain adamant that the trans women are women. Trans men, incidentally, tend to make far less fuss, so they seldom even get a name check. It's true. They make seldom, you know, they seldom get checked. They don't get noticed, trans men. You know why? Because they're women. To these militants, stock is a hateful bigot who questions their very right to life because she refuses to call them women. I'm not calling them women. Nobody should call them women, ever. Trans-identified male. That's what you are. Or trans-identified female. And I don't, I'm not using your pronouns either. So, you know, swivel. Meanwhile, inside, the theatre continues. Five more police officers strode in, one carrying a camera to film the removal of the protesters. Until finally, after the half-hour interruption, the activist was led away to loud cheers. And the Q&A recommenced. Re um, they're losing it, big time. <laughs> I mean, it's all very well and good. We can't, get, we can't get these people out of a, a meeting in less than half an hour, which should bother you because it's going to take us a darn sight longer to get this shit out of the law and out of companies and organisations in particular out of the civil service if we can't get them out of a room quicker than half an hour. You know, what's going on? So, there's then an interview. She spoke to Stock. There's an interview. Um, it, then, then it talks about the 200-year history of the Oxford Union. That's interesting, so do go and read it, please. In the Dubra, as usual. Um, amid the allegations of death threats and harassment against the committee members, the LGBTQ plus hands, knees and bumps and daisy society urged hundreds of students to join the process. Well, they will, wouldn't they, wankers? To show support for the trans community. What even is that? The last, four, last week, 400 Oxford academics warned students that free speech was in peril. The Prime Minister, Richard Sunak, Richard Sunak bel belatedly bandwagoned them um, and following, followed suit this week saying that stock should be able to speak. OK, folks, um, you know, Kathleen's done extraordinary work in this field and has paid a high price, a very high price. 
Um, and then and that's for, what was it? Somebody put on Twitter today. Well, she might as well be a trans man by the look of her. They literally don't get it. They're so close to getting it, but they don't get it. The homophobia in this is extraordinary. Homophobia and misogyny, the two mixed together. There you go. And these young students think it's a good thing. And the LGBTQI hands, knees and bumps of daisy people think it's, think it's OK. So do gay pride and all the you know rubbishy organisations that now exist that do nothing in our name. It's all there for you to see. But go and have a look, because I think it's been an interesting couple of days. Channel 4 documentary, Waste of a Time. Kathleen Stock, magnificent, is the only way I can describe. I had a text from somebody I didn't expect to saying, isn't she brilliant? Yes, she's brilliant, OK? And she puts this bunch of wibbling twats to shame. The universities need to wake up and smell the coffee. When people do this and they do it in the name of social justice, blah, blah, critical this, critical that, critical to other, I'm fat, blah, blah, blah. kick them out. It's the easiest thing to do. We're not interested in their power and oppression narratives. We've got serious problems to solve in this country that we can then use to help other people in the world that have also got serious problems to solve. Get them gone. They are the thieves of time. I'm done. Thank you for listening. See you soon. Buy me a coffee. Ta-ta!